Hi, Reed. Hello. We have seen many lady heroes taking charge at every Avenger movies, whether it is Lady Hulk, Black Panther, Lady Thor. Are you planning something for Ant Man movies also? Well, we have um, we have some very strong female heroes in this movie. Uh, you know, the movie is called Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania, and Hope Van Dyne uh, is a very very formidable hero in this movie. Um, the Ant Man and the Wasp partnership, I think, is unique in the MCU. Um, they're a couple, and they're a uh, you know they're a, a hero couple in the sense of you know they fight together, but they're also a romantic couple. Um, and that's a fun thing that we're exploring further in this third Ant Man movie uh, is the relationship between Ant Man and the Wasp, and the idea that the Ant Man movies have always been about family and sort of you know how that affects not only their personal lives but their lives as heroes. Um, and also, as we enter the quantum realm and go further into the quantum realm in this movie, um, our character Janet Van Dyne, Hope's mom, played by Michelle Pfeiffer. She's had an entire life down there that we really don't know anything about. And maybe she's been keeping some secrets from her family about what went on down there. Uh, and we're going to find out in this movie about her whole life down there. And probably the most significant thing about that life is that she has come into contact in the past with Kang the Conqueror. Uh, and we're going to find out a lot about that in this movie. As Ant-Man is senior in remaining Avengers, Will he lead Avengers in forthcoming movies? Well, this is a question we we can't answer yet. I mean, there's a lot that goes on in Quantum Mania, um, and uh, you know, it would be a spoiler to sort of talk about anything beyond this movie because we really uh, we're putting Scott Lang up against uh, the most formidable villain now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So um, he's beyond anything that the Avengers have come into contact with. And uh, we like the idea that it's Scott Lang, the most unlikely of the Avengers. That's the first one. He's on the front line of dealing with Kang the Conqueror. So, um, you know, who knows if there is a future for him because he's got to get past this villain. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a very, very, uh, you know, at, at sort of quick glance, it's a very one-sided fight because Kang is uh, he's a feared warrior, a conqueror, and a tactician. So uh, who knows what the future holds? Uh, Ant-Man don't have any specific villains in earlier movies, but now will ha he have to face main villain in this movie? How was this idea? How was the idea for what for for Ant-Man to face this villain in this movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main villain. Well, we liked the idea again of of um, introducing Kang the Conqueror. He was he was a character that I knew and loved from the Marvel comics as a kid, uh, and is one of the great sort of. Uh, you know, Marvel canon villains, along with Thanos and Doctor Doom and some of these main, main uh, villains. So I love the idea that we get to kick off phase five of the, the MCU in an Ant-Man movie. I mean, Ant-Man, I think, you know, when he came on the scene eight years ago, you know, he was a sort of small time crook who got sucked into this larger world with the Avengers. And now he's, uh, he's the one who's going to end up fighting Kang the Conqueror first. So that was very exciting for us. When we when we hit on that idea of bringing Kang into the Ant-Man world, we got very excited about it. MCU movies are getting very popular in India. And we have seen Indian reference in many Hollywood movies. Are you planning something in next movies for the same? Well, let's see. It's very, very, I don't know what I can say about that. Um, okay. I can't say anything about that. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, are you planning next Ant-Man movies also in the series for Ant-Man specifically? You know, the way we've generally done it, when we did a, a first Ant-Man movie back in 2015, there was certainly no guarantee that there were going to be more Ant-Man movies, um, which is another thing that's very exciting for us now that we're doing our third Ant-Man movie that we've done a trilogy now. Um, so again, we don't know what the future holds for Ant-Man or the Avengers. Uh, you know, his, this, this whole journey in quantum mania, uh, we're going to do some things to these characters, uh, that has never been done to these characters before. They're really, they're facing off with the most powerful villain they've ever faced off with. And there, there are no guarantees for any of our heroes in this movie. Thank you so much, Reed. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you.